welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, and here we grow again. I am going to do a few announcements, and then we're going to jump right into callers. So if you are on the call log, uh, please be patient. I will get to you as soon as you can. And just everybody in the call log, um, here's the number. Eight, if you do want to call in, 845 277 9131. You can call in. You can ask a question about life, love, career, finances, um, any, any aspect of your life. Please let the question be specific, not an open what's going on in the next three or six or summer or months of my life. Um, that's more for a personal reading. And I will not answer that on air. I will have you book a personal reading. Or um, what do they want to tell me? If you're going to ask me that, be prepared for whatever the answer is. And then do not come at me for it. <laughs> if you're going to ask something like that, don't expect them to tell you rainbows and kittens are falling in your lap. They're going to tell you what needs to be fixed or whatever. So um, it's better if you just have a very specific question about something in your life um, that you want to know about. And uh, if you want to connect with loved ones, listen, I love when people connect with loved ones. I love when your loved ones come in. I do ask that you have a specific loved one, not does anybody on the other side want to connect with me? Again, everybody on the other side wants to connect with you, even people you don't know. They're like, hey, look, someone to talk to. Let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's talk to this person over here. You may not even know this. They not e may not even be part of your lineage, but they're like, oh, they want to talk. Let's go. Um, and I have actually had where someone called in for an appointment, and this has happened on more than one occasion, someone called in to schedule an appointment and someone appears in front of me and I'm like, I see this person and this is what they look like. They're like, I don't know them. I don't know. I'm like, they are not going away. This person isn't even in session. They're just scheduling an appointment. And finally, I get the message. They just want to say, tell her I'm sorry. Tell her I'm sorry. The person goes, oh my God, I know who that is. It's for someone else. So again, if you want to connect with a loved one, I love that. I love doing it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely do. I loved when loved ones come in. I just want a specific loved one, their first name and their relationship to you. Now, don't worry. I'm not Facebook stalking you. I can barely manage the two screens I have up. So if you call in and you ask a question or you um, want to connect with a loved one, I'm going back and forth between a call log and a um, YouTube screen. I don't have time to go on Facebook and look you up. And I don't even have your last name. Okay, seriously, I have nobody's last name. I have whatever information you give me when you say, you know, you could be lying to me and people have. It's so funny, people have. They've lied to me about their name. They've lied to me about the person they're with name. That's okay, I get it. This show airs on WSCS. It airs, uh, it live streams on Roku. It's out there. I would maybe not give my real name either if I... If I had something super personal I wanted to ask. Um, so yes, okay, so that's that. If you do want to schedule a private appointment, love that. Um, we are on the phone. My appointments are 30 and 60 minutes. The only way, only way to get an appointment with me is if you go to my website um, or you call me on my business line. This is not, the, the call-in line is not my business line. These are two different lines. I never ever reach out to anybody and ask them if they want an appointment or if they, uh, it, you know, anything. If, if you uh, want an appointment, you have to reach out to me. Okay. 
Uh, I want to say hi to my little brother, Stevie, who gets the biggest kick out of um, watching my shows now. Apparently, now that he has found them, he he calls me and he's like telling me everything I'm saying in the show. So it's, it's super awesome. I want to do a little show with him, with just him and I, um, and have him talk about his life a little bit at some point. He is just He's super adorable. Um, he finally found my show where I was talking about um, when he and I drive in the car and his favorite song that he always wants me to put in, <laughs> which is, I don't know the name of it. I should, I just know the, the in the begin. I just know how the beginning of the song goes. And it's like a dog barking. It goes, woo, 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 I can't even do it. And then it goes, um, and he thinks it's hilarious because we're usually on the freeway, like navigating traffic. And I'm not going to say I'm a bad driver or an aggressive driver, but let me tell you something. If the minimum speed is 55, go 55 or get out the way, bitch. <laughs> so that's the song. <laughs> The song is, they say in a move, bitch, get out the way. So I'm sorry if that is not okay for some of the stations that are playing me that I use the B word, but the B word is also a female dog. So calm it down. <laughs> Even though I don't mean it that way right now. <laughs> okay, so today's show, so excited. We're going to have a lot of fun on today's show, and I'm going to start with a clearing or a healing and this clearing is going to be for abandonment we're going to start with abandonment and we're going to move from there when you call in if there's something you want cleared for all my amazing people that i love so much that are always rocking my youtube station i love you guys so much if any of you want a healing or a clearing on anything today Put it in the chat. I will get to it. If I don't get to it during the show, I will get to it after the show. These healings work during the show. So if you're listening to it, watching it, it's going to work. If it's going and if you re-listen, re-watch, it's going to work. If you send this to somebody else, it will work. If you bring them in mentally, if you think about them during the show with the healing, it will work. Um, you can also play it softly in the background uh, play the replay the show softly in the background quietly in the background the healing will still work on those you love we're going to start with abandonment today um it's something i don't i don't know if i've done this on the show or not so i'm, I'm just going to do it um, all abandonment issues have been cleared healed released we're going to clear heal release that and from abandonment we're going to jump right into abundance we are open to and accepting abundance in our life. And I get a no, so we're going to clear, heal, release that to a yes. These are two huge things, and they are so interconnected. And I'm going to tell you why. If you have abandonment issues, it's not just in one area of your life. If you have had a childhood where, let's just say, that you lost things. Um, you can have abandonment issues from the loss of people, places, things from childhood or adulthood. Anything can trigger it. It doesn't have to be that typical, I lost my mom when I was five. Okay, it can be anything can trigger this. But if you have a fear of abandonment, you will have a fear of losing money, losing things. Once you accumulate things, let's just say money, homes, cars, you will always have a fear someplace inside of you of losing that. So we're clearing those and I'm going to go straight to the call log. Again, anybody who wants to ask a question, connect with a loved one, please call in 845-277-9131. Going to go directly to 256. 256. Hi, how are you today? Two five six. Hello, two five six. 
Okay. I can hear 256, but apparently they're not, they're non-responsive. So we're going to go straight to 334. 334, hi, how are you today? Hey, Tony. Um, my name is Shakira, and my question is, do you see love coming with the path that I'm on now? Okay. Possibly this year. Uh, well, uh, mm. Okay, so I hear yes when you said, do you see love coming in? And I heard yes. And then when you said, on the path that I'm on now, I heard no. <laughs> what you doing, Shakira? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. And uh, what I'm mm -hmm. going to say to that is maybe it's the approach or the non-approach you're taking. Like, And I say this all the time, and I might just be just a tad bit guilty of it myself. We, we're not going to meet someone or have love coming in sitting on our couch, right? Or like using our home gym over a, a, a different gym. We have to be out there actively pursuing or meeting people um, in an organic way. Now, Shakira, I'm going to tell you the person you are going to meet, you are going to meet them organically. You are going to meet them when you are out. You are looking cute, by the way, when this when when this person strolls up on you, you are mm, you got. I'm so sorry I have to say it like this, but I always say what I hear. You got your booty on duty, and you are looking like a goodie. Okay, that is what somebody up there is saying to you. <laughs> For whatever that means mm -hmm. to you, um, I'm just gonna say it in my white girl way, you look good. <laughs> you look good. You are looking super cute. Um, and to be honest, I know I can't pull off. You got your booty on duty. I know I can't pull that off. I try. I try so hard. Um, I'm going to tell you, you look good when this person strolls up on you. And you are looking good, you are feeling good, you are having an amazing day. And that energy, that high, like that really good, confident energy pulls this person in. They gravitate toward you with this big toothy grin on their face. Um, and they they wanna they wanna have a conversation, but you're you're I, I actually get and I could be like don't. You're okay. So what I'm getting is you're someplace where like say you you're on a time frame. So you cannot sit and talk to this person, even though they're gonna kind of try to keep you there talking. And um mm -hmm. but you have to you have to get like so for example, I'm not saying this is the um the the exact thing. But like if you're at a movie theater and you're getting concessions, but you know you're running late and your movie's about to start, um, this person is trying to keep you there. Anyway, whatever it is, but you know you got to go. So keep get the number and move it up. Push, just keep going. Um, I'm going to tell you, you do. I do hear June. I hear June could be a really, really good month for meeting somebody. June is going to be a very, very strong month for meeting somebody. I feel like during the month of June, you're going to have the potential to meet a couple different possible people, okay? Now, having said that, whenever we meet a couple people, it doesn't mean that if you, let's just say, for example, we meet three people, it doesn't mean two of them are wrong. It might, you might meet three really amazing people. But the truth of the matter is, maybe one of them stands out better for you, okay? Sometimes people can look really good on paper, but that ain't our piece of paper. That's not our piece of paper, okay? That's uh, what we want is this. Even if this person is this, what, what we vibe with where we are is this. And pay attention to that. And the other thing that they're telling me for you, Shakira, is pay attention to how this person feels okay pay very close attention to how this person feels to you if you 
if you get any um, fire alarms going off, it is not a false fire. It is not is it's it's not a test. It is a straight up uh, get out the building. It's about to burn down sort of thing going on. Um, so, there, but there is one person that stands out more than the rest for you that is a little bit more genuine. Um, and I feel like that's the one you're going to go with. Now, through June and July, I feel like you're going to be maybe, now, again, this is up to you and how you do this. You might be talking to more than one person. Um, mm -hmm. And that's okay as long as you're doing the inter what I call the interview, interview dating or the interview process and teach each of them like, Okay, if I were opening up a business with this person or I had a business and I was bringing this person into my business, these are the things I'd want to know. And and for women, that's really difficult to do for the most part, because we've never been taught that we're the one who gets to pick them or we're in charge of that. But I, they're just somebody up there is just really saying you need to look at this like like an interview process and. I eliminate anybody who can't do the job you need them to do and know what that job is. Oh, okay. <laughs> By August, you're going to, if mm -hmm. now given the fact that you get out there, it's organic and, and you start talking, doing this by August, you're going to know the person you want to be with and you're going to move forward with that. Okay, love. Okay. Excellent. Thank well, you thank so you. much for calling in. Uh, please do call back and let me know what happens, okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to, I think Sal asked, how about a healing for leaving an old relationship um, on a high note. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome, Sal. I love that. So on YouTube, Sal asked, if we can leave an old relationship on a high note, um, I'm just going to say this. Um, we are all moving forward in a healthy, loving way. I get a no. Let's clear that. Yeah, leaving old, letting someone go is really difficult. And it's if there's not like this big blowout, it's super duper difficult, right? Because we feel like we, we're supposed to like... If we end something, it has to be a, a difficult uh, blowout that we're leaving behind. Okay, I am going to go to 203 and then 256. I'm going to come back to you after 203 uh, because I know that you've been waiting a long time. Uh, 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. It's Pat in Connecticut. Hi, Pat. How are you? Oh gosh, Tony, I'm listen. I, I'm, my help is getting done in. I am hitting so many obstacles, and I just keep trying to look forward and say things are going to get cleared up. I don't know where to begin with questions, but uh, this may be too general. Um, <laughs> when are things going to turn for me? I'm devastated financially. Okay, and it doesn't stop. So the first thing I'm getting, um, and I know, uh, so Pat, I know this is much easier said than done. I know it is, especially depending on where people live. Um, if you cannot move, you need to like dome, dome, D-O-M-E, dome your, your space that you live in. You need to use... Um, like a, and I know you're financially devastated, so it might be difficult for you to do some of these things right now. But if you cannot get a, a good, um, what are those called? A air, um, well, okay, so what I'm seeing is you need okay. to get the old air out. So even if you have to do the reverse fan thing where you open a window and you have the air pushing out to pull out all the old air and energy, you just really need to do that, first of all. And second, um, I, ha I have 
I had an air purifier. I'll turn it on. Okay, and that's that's what it's called, an air purifier. Thank you so much. And then the sec and and but also Thank get you. fresh air in and get your air. Always keep the air in your space moving to a certain extent. That doesn't mean put put a fan on and have it blowing at high force. But if you can at the, like right now where I am, it's still a little bit cool. So opening windows isn't always an, a, an option. But if you can open a window for even a little while, you know, 10, 20 minutes every morning and uh, push that air in, bring some fresh air in, that's great. The other thing I'm hearing for you, Pat, is you need pine, P-I-N-E. So one thing you can do is get some um, charcoal, and get, get the charcoal hot and then get some pine needles and um, let those pine needles burn on your charcoal. Now, I am a person who always speaks out against burning things and having the smoke in the home because of our lungs, mostly. I always say if you can get a diffuser and oils, that's great. Um, in this case, though, they're saying it's okay if you just grab some pine needles and a piece of charcoal and burn those pine needles and put that smoke through your personal space. Um, there's something about the scent of pine, and especially if it's burning, that is very rejuvenating for a home and very, um, if you believe in protective properties, it has a ton of of protective properties. I'm going to say it instead of ever, ever burning sage again, pine, um, little pine branches are a much better alternative if you have to burn. Again, I don't agree with burning things. I'm more the type of person that would say diffuse it, even if you have to get a water bottle and some essential oils and spray it better than burning it. But in your case, they're just saying burn, burn the pine needles. I feel like this starts with your personal space where you live and getting the air in that space cleaned up. And then once you do that, you're going to notice a change in your ability to have clear thought processes. And when you have those clear thought processes, you're going to get much, much stronger. Uh, when you can move, I would get on a list to be moved as um, quickly as possible. I would contact emergency services in your area and let them know what's going on and relocate as quickly as you can. Some of the things going on in and your building are things that are definitely things that would substantiate an emergency move uh-huh i don't understand why you're telling me to move well maybe have a talk with spirit about that but i would think that you would know if you're not doing anybody who's not doing well in every single area of their life and is having um, health issues. It may be the space that you're living in. It may be the energy of the space that you're living in. It may be a number of things. What I'm getting here, if they're asking you to clear out the energy of where you're living, and they're asking you to use um, pine, that maybe the energy, maybe, maybe the energy of where you're living or some of the things going on where you're living might not be conducive to what you need. Okay. And I'm not saying you have to move this weekend or next weekend, maybe in a period of time, um, you might not be able to move for a certain period of time and that's okay until then just do the best you can to clean up the energy in your space i am going to go directly to 256 256 how are you today i'm well how are you this is kimberly from georgia hey kimberly how can i help you i am um not thinking about it. i know i'm changing my career 
And this is a class, it's called, it, well, the new career is called Instructional Design. And presently I'm teaching, but I'm leaving the teaching field. <laughs> and it's this course that I'm contemplating taking, but it's like $1,000, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to invest in it. And is it really going to help me um, in this next career? Okay, so... Who? Um, I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I feel like you are going to change your mind about your next career again. I do feel like you are going to want to. Um, I feel like even if you do this, you, there's going to be something else that comes in that is also going to make you want to um do do something else not only this and I giggled in the beginning because every teacher I know wants to quit teaching right now and I've heard some of the stories and I am so sorry for every teacher out there I can't even I seriously can't even imagine I seriously can't even um but what I'm gonna say is this course if you take it it will be helpful this might not be your final destination. It might be your next step or your next stop, but it won't be your full on final destination. Does that does that make sense to you, love? Okay. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. I am so happy to hear that. I do feel like if you invest in it, it will be worth the investment. But remember... This is your next step, not your final step. And you might even, you might get this and it might lead you to something else. So it's, you know, in the end, is it worth it? Yeah, it, it will help you. Um, is it your final, like, get off the train and never get back on it thing? Mm, absolutely not. Okay, love? Got it. Thank you so much. That's very helpful. I'm Have a so great day. I'm so happy I could help you. Thank you. And um, I do want to say um, just real quick, I, I'm going to say I do feel like there's something coming in even before you take this class that you're going to start on your own on the side, whether that's tutoring, whether that's something else. I feel like there's something coming in that you're going to start that you're doing like um, on your own that's going to bring... Um, and then they're they're going money 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 money. Okay, <laughs> so yes, thank you so much for laughing at that. <laughs> so and I, I I and then I hear this song. You know the song "Push It," but they're they're changing the words where it goes. Do, do, do. I can't even I can't even keep a beat this morning. I don't know what's going on. Where it goes, push it. They're going money. <laughs> To do 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 do. <laughs> so whatever you're going to do on the side, I just feel like now they're saying dollar bills, y'all, dollar, dollar, dollar. Whatever you're gonna do on the side, it whatever you're doing is going to bring you money. So jump on it. And I'm not going to sing the lyrics to that, even though they want me to. I just feel like they're really trying to punk me with all the singing right now. But you know, you know what they're saying. So get on, <laughs> get on it, whatever the next thing is for you. Okay, love? <laughs> I got it. Thank you. You are so welcome. I look forward to hearing about your success, okay? I will definitely call in and let you know. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Now, I am going to let you know um, if you are watching this show on a venue that is a 30-minute venue, please, you can go to YouTube and watch the rest of the show, or you can wait for part two. And thank you for joining us. I really appreciate the time that you spent with us.